Everyone knows that Donald Trump is not a righteous, good, wise, kind, loyal, or compassionate man. That has been well established by his own statements and actions over many years. Donald Trump is by any definition, a wicked man. Trump is a wicked man in his personal life. He has been unfaithful to his wives, committing adultery many times. Trump paid some of his mistresses, who he had sex with soon after his wife Melania gave birth to their son, Barron, to stay quiet. He's like, wow, you, you are special. You remind me of my daughter. You know, uh, he's like, you're smart, beautiful, and a woman to be reckoned with. I like you, I like you. It was yeah. entirely consensual. Oh, yes. A guy walked up on me and said to me, leave Trump alone, forget the story. And then he leaned around and looked at my daughter and said, it's a beautiful little girl, it'd be a shame if something happened to her mom. And then he was gone. Donald Trump has always contemptuously treated women like pieces of disposable meat. Footage from 1992 found in the NBC archives shows the future president welcoming Jeffrey Epstein to his Mar-a-Lago estate. The get-together more than a decade before Epstein pleaded guilty to prostitution charges in Florida. Both men are seen enjoying themselves, Trump pointing out women dancing in front of them. Just look at Trump's model first lady. What a horrendous example for our children and an embarrassment to our nation. Money, sex, and power are the only things he has ever valued. In his business life, he has repeatedly taken out bankruptcy and used his power and wealth to stiff working people who have performed work for him. In his political life, he has befriended and enabled wicked, murderous dictators like the Philippines' Rodrigo Duterte. Hitler massacred three million Jews. Now, there is three million, there's a three million drug addict, there are. I'd be happy to slaughter him. Like Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, and like Russia's Vladimir Putin. All the while, he has alienated our longtime allies. Trump has corruptly abused his office for his and his family's self-interest. Since his election, the people of the United States have been divided more than at any time since the Civil War. What kind of person is at the heart of this divisiveness? Not the kind of man you would hire for your company. Not the kind of man you would leave alone with your child. Rather, a truly disgusting man who initiates a public discussion about his wife's flatulence, whether she defecates, and the smells his wives have left after they use the bathroom. I give it Howard, up. Howard, let me, let me just ask. You <laughs> said something a while ago about Beth that amazed me because it applies to Melania. Right. You said you've never seen her do anything like bad in terms of her own personal. Right? She, that's true. She now, would never even do another chick. No, no, but not even yeah, that. Yeah. You said you've never heard her fart. <laughs> well, how about this? Is that true? Not only is, is that, that true. Amazing? Not only is that true. In, in years, three and a half years, he's never. She doesn't make wow. duty. She hasn't made a duty ne like four times, maybe. <laughs> in three years. In three years. Wow. Uh, you think now, I'm kidding? Now, I'm going to say, and you know, this is, I can say the exact same thing about Melania. How much does Melania weigh? Do you know? One twenty-five. 
She's 5'11", 125. Wow. And that's good. And she hardly goes to the bathroom. And Beth is about the same, right? That's exactly She's right. She's like 5'11", yes. 120. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. I know weights. I can tell women's weights. You're a genius. Men, no, I'm a genius. <laughs> Men, I have no idea. Right. If I said, Artie, I have no idea what you weigh. A woman, I can tell within a half a pound. I'm about 5'11", Melania, <laughs> Does Melania work out, or is that just natural? It's, it's very natural. Pretty she nice. works a little bit. But basically, and she never makes a duty. I... It's, I've never seen it. Wow. It's amazing. Um, you're probably expecting a big one this year, though. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, you do maybe they she's save that for after trained. marriage. Yeah. One yeah. big one. Beth and Melania, maybe they save it for after marriage. That is great. I don't know, but it's amazing. But you said that, and I've never experienced that before. You know, with all Has the she work. ever said, I'm going to the bathroom? Hardly says that. You know what I mean, Howard? Yeah, but like when, you were, when you were with Ivana, she'd go to the can all the time. You would catch a whip. Well, at least. Oh. <laughs> True. It was a little more normal in that sense. But when yeah. you said that about Beth, I said, that's amazing. Because I never thought this applied to anybody else, and it applies to Melania. What kind of grown man looks at a 10-year-old girl on an escalator and says he's going to be dating her in 10 years? That man is a creep. He is certainly not a man who is fit to be president of the United States. Dude, Thursday night. You're going up the escalator? I'm going to be dating her in 10 years. Can you go you can hear him say, I'm going to be dating her in 10 years. Can you believe it? Um, Major, I wonder how concerned the Trump campaign is about videos like that one continuing to surface. Deeply concerned. The Trump campaign is, I think it's fair to say, on eggshells about any disclosures, any videotape, audio tape, any accusations coming from other women about untoward remarks, physical aggression, anything in this category of Trump acting like someone unfit for the presidency or unfit as a gentleman. What kind of man sits next to his daughter and when asked what they have most in common, says sex. What's the favorite thing you have in common with your father? Either real estate or golf. Donald, with your daughter? Well, I was going to say sex, but I can't relate that. What kind of man jokes about admitting that he's a sex predator? Another embarrassing video from a 2006 Howard Stern show has surfaced. It shows Trump alongside daughter Ivanka and son Don Jr. joking about being a sexual predator. You you know about sexual predators and things like that. I mean, uh, you sure. are one. All right, that's, I was going to say that. But that, it's true. And what kind of man says that he might be dating his daughter if she weren't his daughter? Clearly not a man who should be president of the United States. I don't think Ivanka would do that inside the magazine, although she does have a very nice figure. I've said that if Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. You know? <laughs> Stop it! Oh, it's so weird! Stop You know it. what? You are sick! Yeah. 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 Well, you're terrible. known for saying is outrageous things, Mr. Just Trump. Like me. Who are you, <laughs> Woody Allen? <laughs> <laughs> The world was shocked when a tape was disclosed in 2016 with Trump bragging in the most lewd manner that his fame allowed him to sexually molest and assault women. I moved on her, actually. You know, she was down in Palm Beach. I moved on her, and I failed. I'll admit it. Whoa. I, I did try and her. She was married. <laughs> huge news there. <laughs> no, no, Nancy. Yeah. Na no, this was gorgeous. And I moved on her very heavily. In fact, I took her out furniture shopping. She wanted to get some furniture. I said, I'll show you where they have some nice furniture. <laughs> I took her furniture. I moved on her like a bitch. But I couldn't get there. And she was married. And all of a sudden, I see her. She's now got the big phony tits and everything. She's totally changed her look. She's your girl's hot as shit. In the purple. Whoa. Oh. Yes. Whoa. Yes, the Donald is <laughs> Oh, my man. Wait, wait. You got to look at me when you get out of here. Look at me. You are. You got it. Yeah, that's her with the gold. I gotta use some tic tacs just to kiss and start kissing her. You know, I'm automatically attracted to people. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. You have them by the pussy. You can do anything. Look at those legs. All you can see is the legs. Oh, it looks good. Come on, Shorty. Oh, that's right, Get out of the way, though. It's a good place. Go ahead. It's always good if you don't fall out of the bus. Like Ford, Gerald Ford, remember? <laughs> Down below. Hold the hand.
Hello. How are you? Hi. Nice to how nice are seeing you. you. Nice Terrific. To meet you. Terrific. You know Billy Bush? Hello. How are you? Nice to see you. How are you doing, Ariane? I'm doing very well. Thank you. Are you ready to be a soap star? We're ready. Let's go. Make right. me a soap star. How about a little hug for the Donnelly? Just get off the bus. Like okay, hug, absolutely. <laughs> Melania said this was bushy. okay. How can anyone think of keeping a man in the presidency who objectifies women so blatantly and disgracefully? saying that he was entitled to have sex with young women in his beauty contests, and that because he owned the pageant, he'd go into their dressing room to look at the young women before they were dressed. And you see these incredible looking women, and so I sort of get away with things like that. In 2001, Tasha Dixon was Miss Arizona, competing in the Miss USA pageant. She experienced this kind of awkward moment firsthand. Our first introduction to him was when we were at the dress rehearsal and half naked changing into our bikinis. Dixon was 18 at the time and says watching Trump storm into a dressing room was shocking. To have the owner come waltzing in when we're naked or half naked in a very physically vulnerable position and then to have the pressure of the, uh, you know, the, the people that work for him telling, telling us to go fawn all, fawn all over him, go walk up to him, talk to him, get his attention. Who do you complain to? He owns the pageant. <laughs> so there's no one to complain to. Everyone there works for him. Why would anyone support a man who publicly jokes that when a woman turns 35, it's called checkout time? What is it at 35, Howard? It's called checkout time. <laughs> and what parent is not absolutely repulsed by a man who agrees when his daughter is called a piece of ass by another equally crude man? My daughter is beautiful, Ivanka. She, mm -hmm. By the she, way, your daughter. She's beautiful. A, can I say this? A piece of ass. Yeah. Is this the man you want to re-elect to be president of the United States? who boasts publicly about having three women in his bed? Well, you've had two women at once? Have I had in the two, past? Two or three women at once? Of course she has. What do you think? Haven't we all? Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, are we babies? <laughs> you have to wonder, what in the world is wrong with this man that he speaks publicly in a demeaning way about the races of women he sleeps with and whether they're having their menstrual cycle? objectifying women in the worst ways. Will you have sex with a woman if she's having her period? Go ahead. Um, well, I've been there. I have been there, Howard. You have been As there, we all but you don't like it? Well, sometimes you get there by mistake. You I say, see, right. You don't even know what's going on. <laughs> you think you've been shot. It is like Vietnam. Yeah, you had a black woman in bed ever? Um, well, it depends on what your definition of black is. Interesting. See, this is, I like this discussion. Now, what is your definition of black, Donald? <laughs> His bed is a rainbow. <laughs> yeah, like a rainbow. This is a rainbow coalition. <laughs> yeah. So, uh... As, as Reverend Jesse would. And what is wrong with the people of this nation if he is elected for another term? Please ask yourself, don't we want our children to look up to our president? Yet instead, we have this degenerate, crude, women-hating, shameful man inhabiting the White House. We are all accountable for our choices. You know now, if you didn't know before, what a hideously crude, demeaning, sexist, misogynist man Donald Trump is. Don't be complicit in leaving him at the helm for another term. Vote for decency. Vote for compassion. Vote for a better way for our nation. Wise men, good men, Patriotic men are to be found in all communities, in all political parties, among all creeds. None but such men should be chosen.